Once a hacker gets access to a password file of a system, then he can go offline and use different uh, password cracking techniques. In this video, I will discuss these password cracking techniques and uh, the countermeasures against such attacks. So let's start. And now this is a system to which uh, this user wants to sign up. So once uh, the user enters his username and password, then the system uses a hashing algorithm to convert his plain text password into a hash value. So this hash value is irreversible. And then this hash value gets stored on the system in a password file. So this hash value provides a certain kind of protection uh, since it is irreversible and the hacker cannot uh, convert uh, this hash value into uh, its plain text password. So hacker now may use different techniques uh, to crack uh, this hash value in order to get the plain text password and uh, subsequently to get access to the system. So hacker uh, may select a random or expected uh, password value and then apply the same hashing algorithm to convert this expected or guessed password into its hash value. And then he compares this hash value with the hash values uh, found in the password file. So if this match is successful, it means that he has guessed uh, the right password and he can uh, log in uh, to the system as a legitimate user. So in this case, the hacker has successfully impersonated as a authorized user. But if uh, this expected or the guessed password is not uh, has not calculated uh, the right hash value, then the hacker repeats uh, this process until he find the correct uh, hash value. Now there are three methods a hacker may use uh, to perform. Uh, this operation, he may use the brute force or dictionary attack or the rainbow table attack. So in brute force, the hacker tries each and every possible uh, combinations of characters until he finds the right hash value or the right match in the password file. So this process takes uh, time as per the processing power of the hacker's system or as per the graphical processing unit or GPU. But ultimately the brute force uh, can crack every password. Now the second uh, type of attack is uh, the dictionary. It means that the hacker instead of trying each and every combination of characters, uh, that is the alphabets, letters and special characters, uh, he just select uh, the most common uh, passwords. And this uh, technique requires less time and it may crack uh, the password if the password is in the expected password list. And the third technique is the rainbow table uh, which may combine uh, the brute force or the dictionary list. So in this uh, uh, rainbow table, these are the pre-calculated hashes. So there is less time uh, to require to compare hashes uh, with the hashes which are found in the password file. Uh, but uh, more time is required to build these pre-calculated hashes or the rainbow table. So you may download uh, this rainbow table uh, or you may build your own rainbow table. And uh, this is a lot of data to build or to download. But once 
uh, you got the rainbow table then you can crack uh, the password and this process is faster now there are three uh, countermeasures or the three techniques to counter such attacks uh, so first technique is the salt then the key stretching and then the paper so this is uh, the plain text uh, password and instead of uh, putting it directly to the hashing algorithm the system first applies a uh, random bits uh, that is known as salt and then this print text password along with this random salt value is added to the hashing algorithm and then uh, the hash value is calculated so this uh, plain text password and the salt value is stored uh, in the password file and then the second uh, technique to improve uh, the strength of this uh, uh, system is to use key stretching so in key stretching uh, this process is repeated uh, many times and the third technique uh, is the paper and so this uh, salt and the plain text password is installed on the same database file or same password file whereas this paper is a constant value which is which is installed or which is uh, stored at the application server or at the inside the code of the application so this paper is combi combined with the hash value or with the plain text password salt and then the paper constant and then the system uh, grants access uh, to the user if this process uh, is correct one so the salt is a random value uh, which is applied before hashing to the plain text password and then the combined uh, values are hashed and it is uh, created for each password so it is different for per uh, password and then it is stored in the same uh, database file as uh, the uh, hashes and the bycrypt tool uh, which is for open bsd and password based key derivation function too uh, uses uh, the salt and it primarily uh, protects against rainbow table attack but also brute force attacks and dictionary attacks so the key stretching is the repeated hashing and it is uh, just like an iteration count that is the number of iterations of the same hashing process and paper is a constant value which is stored at the application server or inside the code of the software so this was all from my side please uh, stay connected thank you